and turn that into a real pipe um, based on what pipes are actually available. And we will do that by, we're going to now design a pipe. And that equals pipe given a diameter. And the pipe inner diameter is design pipe ID. And the selection type is, it's going to be based on the ID of the pipe. And we need SDR. So let's add an SDR to our inputs. SDR is a standard diameter ratio that's used for this pipe. And this is one of those weird cases where we're going to get a bug. We're going to get an error here. Um, SDRs range from 13.5 is a very thick wall. 26 is still a pretty thick wall, a strong, good wall. Um, 65 is a very, very thin wall. Um, so we use, we'll use default to using 26 as our SDR. And now if we commit, we're going to get an error. It's going to try, it's trying, it's trying. Okay, we got an error and it's, oh, missing a semi. Well, let's go fix that. Yeah, that's classic. Um, okay, so we fixed that semicolon that was missing. Um, And it's refreshing and trying to figure out what's going on because there's yet another error. And it cannot use SDR as a map key because there is a variable or constant with that name. And when that happens, we need to put SDR in quotes because otherwise it thinks it's referring to a variable. And so, so right here, this needs to be design dot SDR. And up here, this is where the problem started. This needs to be in quotes. So all of these could be in quotes. That would be fine, but they don't need to be in quotes if they're not a specially designed, defined parameter in Onshape. SDR has already been defined as a, an enumerated type in the Alberclata code base, and so that's where that problem showed up from. And with a bit of luck, we'll be back in business in a second. And there we go. Okay, so I think okay, let's see if is there somewhere else where I've used SDR and haven't defined it? No, I think this this error message is just clearing. I think this will clear momentarily. Okay, so the the next step is to, ah, did we get a pipe definition? No, pipe has not yet been defined. Pipe has been defined. Okay, but this thing is complaining that it has failed to regenerate, but it has regenerated. And I think it's just that it's it's out of sync um, with the cloud. So pipe, here it is, pipe has ND defined. It's defined its nominal diameter as one inch. That means that we can go into the pipeline and instead of typing something in here and making this a constant, we can refer this to pipe.nd. It's complaining about something that I did a long time ago. So 
that should fix eventually. Okay, so now we have our one inch pipe drawn and we have water potentially flowing between these two tanks, but we were a little bit sloppy so far. Um, if we look at this pipe, um, looks like this pipe ends in a cap and that's not good. So let's think about what do we actually, how do we actually want this pipe to end here in the bottom of this tank? Well, as before, when we pass through a tank wall, we want a coupling in the wall, or in this case, in the floor of the tank, um, so that it's a, a stronger structure. And I don't think we put that in there. So let's, let's check this sketch. Um, just ends with a dot. Um, if we wanted to put a coupling there, we have to actually extend that pipeline. And let's hide all these parts again. Okay, we're going to extend this pipe up just a little bit, and that will be enough to force the pipeline to add a coupling onto it. And now I don't actually want this coupling to be centered on this mate connector because this mate connector is on the upper middle of the floor. And here, let's let's show this so that it's clear what the problem is. So let's let's open up this tank on the side here. And let's enable the pipeline again. Okay, so now this coupling is sticking up through the bottom of the floor. And we'd like that coupling to have this top edge be flush with the top of the floor. So how do we get that coupling to be at exactly that elevation? Well, we need to know what the coupling's dimensions are. And so we're going to go back to feature script and we're gonna get the coupling information. So down here, we did design pipe um, and we got information about the pipe. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do design coupling. And this is coupling. Okay, give me some help here. Coupling. And it, all it needs as an input is coupling of diameter, it's going to need the ND, which is design.pipe.nd. Let's see if this worked. Okay, so it's coupling of ND and the, the pipe design dot pipe dot ND. Okay, so now we should have the coupling information. And we can look at that in the variable list and we have the same problem again. There's the coupling. Um, but it's a long parameter, long map. And so let's go look at it using our, our, our map printer. So we're gonna unsuppress this and we wanna look at coupling. And we should now see, here's a requested submap coupling and we have axes L, which is a distance from the vertex, which is the center of the coupling to one of the faces. And socket L is how deep the socket is. We're interested in, because our, 
our sketch has the vertex drawn, we need to draw, put the vertex at the right location and distance axes L from the interior surface of the tank. So that's our magic parameter right there, axes L. Let's go see if we can edit this sketch. So we're going to go in here and we're going to look at this vertex and we're going to show constraints. And this vertex where it's constrained to be on the mate connector, we're going to, there we go. So now this sketch entity is, is free. So I, I moved the the vertex to below the tank. Um, and I do want this pipe section here to be coincident with that mate connector. So I would like that to be coincident. Um, and now the distance between the interior tank wall, tank bottom and that vertex, whoa, whoa, sorry, the distance I don't want them to be coincident. The distance between them should be coupling axes L. Uh, and then that is all good. Let's go see if our pipeline did what we want it to do. So now let's go look at this coupling and see the coupling is now just flush with the inner surface. So that's perfect. Um, there's another thing that we can do with this pipeline. Let's turn off um, this cap. So pipe elements to avoid, we can avoid that vertex and that gets rid of that cap for us. We cannot get rid of this line segment of the pipeline because if we do that, it'll put a, an end cap down here where we want this coupling. So currently the easy way to handle the situation where we have this extra piece of pipe that we don't actually want is simply delete that pipe. So delete one pipe size, that piece of pipe. And now we have our pipeline beginning just like we want it. Um, I suppose you could say there's one more problem and that is that it doesn't have a hole in the floor. That pipe is coexisting with the concrete. So we could put a pipe hole in and the pipe or fitting that we want to use is we need both this pipe and the coupling are going through this bottom floor. And, and now we go in here and look and we can see that indeed that pipe has now um, come to, through the floor nicely and it's no longer messing with the concrete.